Hi guys. <laughs> um, so today is what day is it, babe? Tuesday, the twenty seventh of September. So our wedding is done. So we're married. Yeah. Um. So we're currently actually in Sydney at the moment. Um. So we're just going to Sydney to spend some time with our family. Oh my God, my hair's so messy. So going to spend some time with our families in Sydney. Um, we weren't going to go anywhere, but we realized like, look, we've got time off, so we might as well do something with our time. Um, can't afford a honeymoon yet, so we'll wait till next year. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just vlog and show you guys what we get up to. No one's asked, but... I'll show it anyway. <laughs> Hello, husband. <laughs> show me your ring. Wow! Look at that. It's a little bit tight, but yeah. it fits. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> your fingers are so short. Bye. Hello. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, I need to lie down. Yes, <laughs> Hello, bear. Look, look here. Look <laughs> Wow. Is it my wedding again? That's on camera. George, glass. Glass. Ring the one. Wow, we haven't even stayed in the soft hotel in Adelaide. Wow, here, look, ready? Where's my wine and stuff? Wow, open the blinds, open the blinds. It's the bathroom. Open the blinds. How do you open the blinds? 
Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. Wow. Um, this is the view for my room. I mean, from the door. Bed. Very nice. Wow. I'm so scared of heights. And this is the bathroom. Stop sniffling in my videos. The view. Oh. To dinner this makes us look so morphed How do you feel? <laughs> I see it. Hi guys, so today is Thursday the 29th of September. Um, I'm sure I've got all the clips from today, like little snippets of what we've been up to, but pretty much um, we checked into Sofitel Darling Harbour today. Um, so I just thought it'd be nice to have a little getaway, um, just time to ourselves after the wedding. So we checked into Sofitel today and then we went to sh shop. So we went to Westfield, Sydney. We went literally all over the city. Um, which was really fun. We were able to just explore everything um, by walking to places instead of Ubering everywhere, which was actually really fun. Like when the weather was good, I feel like the weather was kind of shit. And then it, the weather was raining, was wet, windy, cold, but then it was sunny like six minutes later, which was great because then we kind of hopped in an Uber and then it stopped raining. And then we just like, walk and keep exploring like my feet are so so sore but i i had a lot of fun like i went with the intention because usually when i go away i try like to make a list of what i want to buy and all that as well but 
I think with this trip, I was just more like I wanted to explore and just see another city, if that makes any sense. So that was quite fun. Um, but then my sister ended up buying a Dior bag, which is, I was very, very excited for her, like just seeing the excitement on her face because obviously she's been using my Gucci bag for like the last six years. Um, so now she's got her own bag. So after Dior, we actually kind of roamed and came across the Gucci store, like, and in my head, obviously, I was just more browsing. Like, I wasn't in the mindset of buying anything because I was like, oh, I'll just see if I want new clothes, like nothing high-end. And then I went into the Gucci store and I think I was just looking at, like, the little purses and stuff. And it was the um, the purse version of the Dionysus style. And then my sister was like, oh, like, do you want to try on the handbag? And I was like, oh, you know what, like... I've been eyeing it for ages, but, like, in my head, I'm, like, I'm not going to buy it. So, like, I just tried on. The lady brought – she was lovely. She brought out, like, three different sizes, and I was, like, let me just try them on and see how they sit on my body. Um, but, yeah, I tried them all on, and then I fell in love with – I think it's the small size. It is huge, but I don't know why it's called the small size. Um, so, I fell in love with that one, and then I was just trying it on – left shoulder right shoulder holding it you know doing everything i could possibly do with that bag and then i think it was a bit it felt a bit impulsive for me so i think at this stage it was like 4 30 and i was like you know what let's just take a breath walk away um and the lady told me they shut at nine so it was only 4 30 so i was like look i've got another four and a half hours to decide because i'm only here until tomorrow morning so i've got four and a half hours to decide and then so we just kind of roamed around to see if I was interested in anything else. So I went into Saint Laurent, Louis Vuitton, everything, and nothing really stood out for me. Even Celine, like we went to try on some Celine bags as well. Nothing really stood out to me. And then I decided that I couldn't stop thinking about the Gucci one. Um, and obviously it's been a while actually since I've had a designer bag as well um so my very first designer that i got was a um, gucci as well so it was actually the gucci soho disco and that was bought in like 2017 and that was bought with my centerlink uni money like it wasn't even my hard-earned money um so that was actually the last high-end bag that i bought um which was like obviously like six seven years ago so i thought you know what Let's just buy it and I know, obviously, like, I know this bag, I'll get a lot of wear out of it, especially because of the size. It's so practical to me. And, like, it fits so much as well. Um, but it's also very, like, a classic Gucci bag. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll either upload the unboxing before this video or after this video. But, obviously, I was quite drunk filming it. I was just very excited to get it out of the box. So, it might be a bit of a messy unboxing. But yeah, I thought it was quite funny when I rewatched it. So who knows? Hopefully I'll post it. We'll see. But yeah, I think tomorrow we're just going to check out, maybe do the buffet breakfast here. And then we're going to have some lunch with my partners. I was going to say my boyfriend, my husband, my husband's family. That's my husband there. Like I've got a husband, like what the hell? Um, yeah, so we're going to have some lunch with his, his family as well, his aunties and his grandma and just uncles and stuff, which is going to be fun. Um, but then, yeah, we're flying back to Adelaide tomorrow night at, I think it's about 8, 8 p.m. Um, but, yeah, I thought I'd just update you guys because I feel like I haven't updated since Tuesday, which was like two hours, I mean, not two hours ago, two days ago. Um, but, yeah, that's the tea, not the tea, that's the update. Um, but yeah, I'm sure the room is beautiful. I'm sure I'll put some snippets either before or after, I don't know, whatever, but the room is beautiful and we were able to actually use our credit card points, which is a bonus because, or else this would have been quite expensive. I think it was like, cause we got the corner room, um, with the little, with the bathtub, um, and that was about $570. Um, but then with our points, it brought it back down to only about 390, which is a very, decent for sydney but i guess it's a weekday as well and i booked it very last minute but yeah i thought i had a really great deal so yeah okay i think we're gonna go to bed now so good night this is such a weird angle and i feel like when you watch it on a big tv my face is gonna be like 
like in your face. So maybe just watch it on a phone so I'm not too close. But yeah, that's the update. We're just gonna go to sleep now. We're slightly drunk, aren't we, honey? I think we're a little bit drunk. Um, we were able to, oh, this is not it. Um, when we checked in as well, we were, we got some free drinks on arrival, some vouchers. So obviously I had to make use of that. So I think we got here, so we went shopping and then we got back here about 6.30 um, and then we freshened up, showered, quick power nap. And then we had dinner at 9, 8 p.m. at Felix Bistro and Bar. It was so good. Um, and then after that, I think we finished dinner at 10 and literally we walked all the way from that Felix place back to Sofitel, which literally in my head, it was really easy because like we can walk where cars can't drive, but then like it just took forever. But to me, it felt like it was 10 minutes, but my partner's toes are broken. I think he's got a few blisters, but you know, it's a holiday, it's adventure time. You know, I was in the mood to walk for miles um but yeah so we had to kind of rush back to the hotel because our free drinks we could claim them at the bar which only opened to 11 p.m today um but then the bar will open at 5 p.m tomorrow but then obviously we're not going to be here tomorrow so i was like look we have to make the most of our vouchers so we went to the bar got there at 10 30 I'd say 10.40 and the girl was like, um, we just called for the last drink, so it's going to be one round. And I was like, I'm just here for my free wine. And then she's like, what wine do you want? So we had two Chardonnays, obviously. Like I really, really tried to drink it all, but I had three cocktails at dinner. Like it was, it was too much. So my partner ended up drinking a whole glass of Chardonnay and his poor thing, he's like coming down with something. So yeah, he's been a trooper all day, right, babe? He's been very crop, crop, cooperative. He's been very cooperative, which is very, very lovely. Oh, Kim Trent's got us for the bag. Um, yeah, so it's been a, like, I'd say actually, we've had probably one of the best days. Like, I feel like a lot more relaxed after the wedding as well. Like, I'm not very stressed about anything. I finished my CPD yesterday. If you don't know what CPD is, look it up. But I had to do, is that continuing? personal development or something for your career for your profession so pharmacists have to do 40 hours of cpd every year like obviously i had a year to do it but i left it to two days beforehand because i'm just uh i'm not very bright um so yeah i was actually able to finish that i finished that literally at 2 a.m this morning so this is kind of like my first time that i'm actually able to relax on this holiday and it's literally my second to last day but yeah I thought I'd update you guys on our trip so far and yeah, okay, bye, say bye. <laughs> Look at that ring, wow, whoa, whoa, let me show mine, hang on, I don't want to cover the camera, oops, oops, I covered it anyway. Wow, it's so sparkly. Okay, I'm drunk. I'm going to go to bed now. This lighting? Not it. You need a car. Hi guys, so today is Friday, so it's the next day from the last clip. I've got reflux. Today is Friday. The lighting is really bad this way. Um, so today is Friday the 30th of September. Um, so we are checking out of this hotel today. So I don't know if I mentioned before, but we're staying at Sofitel Darling Harbour. 
very bougie i know um yeah so we're checking out today in like half an hour or so but i just thought i'd do a room tour just to show what the room looks like in case anyone wanted to know um the lighting is really bad hang on okay my hair is so messy i washed it yesterday but um so yeah we just came back from buffet breakfast on level three um that was really nice so we i think it was like 45 dollars per person and there was like a hot food station a cold food station juices yada 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 um so that was really filling now we're very full we're in like a food coma my partner's just sleeping my husband is just sleeping he feels a little bit sick because um we went out and walked a lot and did a lot of shopping yesterday so he's a little tired um but i have all the energy in the world but yeah i'm just gonna do a quick room tour for fun <laughs> goodbye room bye room Airport time, we're going home.